Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7, and today we're hitting up the Dollar Tree. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another Vlogmas video. Today is Vlogmas day number seven, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. So I found a new Dollar Tree where I just opened up my new P.O. box, and so I needed to go back and scout it out because it was a pretty decently sized Dollar Tree. And once I got inside, I felt like I hit the jackpot in there. I didn't find a whole lot of things, but what I did find, I got a lot of, if that makes any sense. So some of this is for Christmas and stockings and gifts, but a majority of it is for Mason's birthday. So Mason turned six on the 10th and on the 15th, we're doing a birthday party here at the house for him. I asked him what kind of birthday party he wanted to do and he said he wanted a Christmas themed birthday party. Definitely a boy after my own heart. So I decided I wanted to do a fun little set of stations kind of thing like different spots for the kids to go to do certain activities. I like at birthday parties we don't really have a whole lot of our stuff set up yet it literally just came yesterday so i don't really have a whole lot for the kids to do here so i want to make sure i plan activities for them to do so i felt like if we set up a couple of tables and we made our own ornaments we decorated our own cookies it would just keep the kids occupied while they're here so i bought everything i needed for the kids to make ornaments and stuff i'm really really excited i feel like these will be great takeaways i'm not going to do a bunch of goodie bags with like any type of crappy things inside they're going to be able to take home their ornament that they made and their cookies that they decorated and all the candy from the pinata and that kind of stuff so I'm going to get into first the gift kind of things that I found and then we'll get into what I bought for Mason's party. This whole bag you guys is pretty much filled with movies. Movies from the Dollar Tree. Like that's when you know that you've scored big. Now I have a minivan and my minivan has a built in TV. That has been key for all of our trips back and forth to New York because the kids always just watch a movie. Well, we are contemplating driving to New York for Christmas. It is 28 hours one way, which would absolutely be insane. So I would need a bunch of movies, but if not, anywhere that we go, they're still watching movies in the car. Even if we do any kind of like DoorDash or any kind of Uber Eats, any outside driving work that we do, the kids can come with us. And so they need a movie to watch. So when I find good movies for a dollar, like I scoop them up and it's not just this pile, then it's also this giant pile. So I felt like I could have just kept buying them. At some point I was like, okay, Kira, slow your roll. Like you've bought enough movies, but I was really impressed with what I found for just a dollar. So I found two Lego movies, a one for each kid. I thought Lego movies is like a name brand kind of movie. So I thought, again, great to find at the DT. So this one is Lego Legends of Chima, Chi Tribes and Betrayals. I know that Mason will know what that is, but again, I got that for him. And then this one is Lego Friends, which is the girls. And this one's always together. So kind of like Barbie in Lego form. So I know Maya's gonna like that. And then we're really big into like the old school, old school movies. I like to share those kind of things with my kids. And so where are some of the old ones that I wanted to show you guys? Cause I was so excited about those ones. Oh, here, those, here are those. Okay, so some of the old ones that I was really excited about was they had a bunch of Tom and Jerry's. I probably could have bought like 10 different Tom and Jerry's, but this one is Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. 
and we have like a big Wizard of Oz thing uh, in our house. We used to have a dog that we named Oz, and then when we got our female dog after having him, we named her Dorothy. So it was Dorothy and Oz, and then Oz passed away of cancer, and then we got Ruby for Ruby Slippers. So we've kind of kept like this Wizard of Oz theme going, and I don't really think the kids have ever really gotten too into the real Wizard of Oz, so maybe they would from watching Tom and Jerry. So I got that one, and then they had Smurfs, you guys. Like Smurfs is like a throwback to my childhood, so this is Smurfs and Friends and like all these are a couple of hours of film which is so great to have that on hand so I got that one but then here is my favorite one this one says cartoon crack ups and it's seven favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoons and it has like the Jetsons and Flintstones and like all of our again like throwback to childhood kind of um, cartoons so I'm excited to show that to the kids and then my kids have been asking like big time for Scooby-Doo and I found Scooby-Doo's up the kazoo. So I found one like regular one or maybe this is Halloween, I don't know. It's a Scooby-Doo Franken Creepy, the all new original movie. So it's a full length movie, which I thought was, you know, pretty good for the buck. And then these ones look like episodes, but they look Christmassy or like winter themed. So this one's Scooby-Doo and the Snow Creatures and this one's Scooby-Doo and the Winter Dog. So again, you know, lots of Scooby-Doo episodes and stuff for just the dollar. I mean, they like list all of the episodes and they just like, it's a huge section that goes, you know, all the way down here of the episodes. So picked those up. And then uh, if you saw any of the pictures of Mason uh, on Halloween, he was Batman. He loves all of his Batman stuff. Um, and so I found a bunch of Batmans. I found Batman Out of the Shadows, the animated series. And then this one says, uh, it's also the animated series, and this one's The Last Laugh. So I picked both of those ones up for the car for Mason, and then couldn't get like a superhero one for Mason and not Maya. So this is the DC Superhero Girls Intergalactic Games and Hero of the Year. So it's basically just like the girl version of all of those. And then another kind of like throwback, this is Warner Brothers Home Entertainment Academy Award nominated animation cinema favorites. So it has like Popeye, Porky Pig, Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, um, like all old school, like love, love, love that. I think that my kids are really going to enjoy that. And then this is my like most favorite find. Mason's really big right now into like video games like Super Mario and all that stuff. He's like really starting to get into that. And this is two hours of adventures. Mario Mega Mix, three great series. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Super Mario World, and the adventures of Super Mario Brothers 3. Like all of those, like how awesome is that? You guys, that was 15 movies for $15. So these I picked up for myself, not necessarily for gifts, but I mean, how cute is that red truck print with the snowman and the trees and it says Merry Christmas and those are pretty decent size like cookie tins, you guys. So, and they're plastic, I'm excited about it, like definite score for mom. And then I just found out that Marissa likes cactuses just like Leanne. So now they're both in trouble because you know that I find like tons of this kind of stuff. So this is a desk pad with 60 sheets and it's just like little terrariums with cactuses hanging. But I just got that as a little filler gift for um, Marissa and then I got them each a sticky note. So this one says love grows here and this one says, oh, I love it, so cute lint but written like succulent. So I love how stinking cute that is. Can you guys see that with the glare? Like, I can't, it's so, so sweet. I love that. And then that's where it says the love grows here. So pick those up for the girls. And then lastly, I picked up this little like train holder for Mason. He loves, loves, loves trains. And so this is actually like those knock off Legos filled inside of this train. And so I'm not sure, I was like looking to see if there was a paper inside that would tell you how to make it into a train or if it's just a train holder holding the assorted blocks. But it says 80 blocks in here. So that's still a nice size like thing, blocks, like puzzle kind of thing to put together for a buck. 
So definitely going in Mason's stocking. So now I'm gonna get into my food finds because besides that, that's all that I bought besides what I needed for Mason's birthday party, which is why I felt like I did pretty good because I got great deals on his paper goods. I got great deals on these little like munchkin kind of boxes to hold all of their ornament and cookies and stuff in like a goodie bag kind of holder thing uh, all for under $80 on Cyber Monday everything all paper goods everything I'm gonna need so besides food all I spent was what you guys are gonna see in a minute for his favors and that so my food finds were amazing we're not gonna need cereal for like a year and I hate buying cereal like this because I'll go back and forth and buy cereal from Trader Joe's or I'll order from like the cereal school where it's not a lot of sugar and not a lot of carbs kind of cereal. And then I go into the Dollar Tree and I see stuff like this for a buck and I'm like, okay, well, you know, you spend $15 on a bag of cereal this big so that you can have the ones with little sugar and no carbs. And then you see this for a dollar and like everything I just tried to do went out the window. But I can't go wrong with some of these and like I said the expiration dates on these things are always so far out that it's silly not to get them so uh, I found the regular size boxes of Reese's Puff Bats this is clearly from Halloween but it doesn't expire until July 28th so pretty long time from now and my kids will tear these up if not then we'll like crush these up and use it for some kind of baking thing for because it's baking season you know um and then speaking of more halloween they had the frankenberry and count chocula cereals so i know my kids will love count chocula because they love anything chocolate and marshmallows and lately they've been into the fruity and marshmallows as long as it's got marshmallows in it my kids are like sign me up uh, and so both of these are this one's a may and this one's august so i mean that's crazy these wouldn't even make it like we probably will have a lot of cereal for a little while because i just bought some cereal at the regular grocery store and then ended up buying these so we'll definitely have cereal for a little while uh plus we don't do cereal every day so these are probably last well into february but they'll be gone long before those dates so that was great but then you guys this is what's going to go first in my house Family size box of cookies and cream dipping dots. Like this might as well say, this is for Jacob, please buy me now. Because that's what I saw when I saw this. I like passed by the box on the floor and I was like, oh, let me get that for Jake. And so I literally opened the box. I felt like Nicole opened the box, pulled it out, was happy to see my dipping dots. So I mean, a lot of cereal. You guys, four boxes of cereal, $4. It's just, it's a no brainer. Uh, Jake really liked that little cup that i got him last time and matter of fact you guys never saw that footage so i went in a couple of weeks ago to dollar tree and made it out for ten dollars you guys so i filmed that footage i wasn't going to do an entire haul on ten dollars and i couldn't wait because it was a food find so i just filmed it it's just a few minutes i'm going to insert that footage here okay guys quick little dollar tree insert footage but i went into the tt and only spent ten dollars like that is almost unheard of, but I still wanted to show you guys what I got because it, I love when I find great things. So this store had the Ellie's Everything Bagels. I haven't seen them in a long time. I did just buy the Dave's Killer Everything Bagels and the kids liked them, but they're super expensive. And these were a dollar. So while I was in there and I saw them, they had like a whole slew of the plain and the everything. I picked up two of those. And then this store had the Pop-Tarts, you guys. And it completely confuses me because in every grocery store I'm going to, they're still actively on the shelf. These do not expire until June of next year so I'm not sure why they go there maybe there's like uh, something wrong like a misprint on the box or something but for whatever the reason they're $3.59 in the store and originally I had only seen apple and cinnamon which I did buy for my kids from the regular store and they did not like them the only ones they liked were this frosted harvest strawberry so there were six boxes I bought three I was trying to be kind I didn't want to buy them out so I just picked up three of them, but they're not gonna go to waste in my house because we actively buy them. And so I, I, to me, that was an amazing score. And then of course I got my Ultra Shine dish detergent packs. This is the Dollar Tree brand. There's 10 packs in there for a dollar. I don't know if I'll ever go back, you guys. Like once I went on to these, I have continued to buy them and I usually show the empty packs in my empties if you've seen one of those that I rave about these. 
and then I picked up one of these little perfect size for you like cake in a cup things. I really thought Jake would like this. Although he's more Oreo than Chips Ahoy, he still likes that personally sized kind of cakey thing. And so since I got Pop-Tarts and bagels for the kids and then I got something else for the kids for their stocking, I wanted to make sure I got something for Jacob. And when I saw this, I thought this was great and it says that it's new on there and it's chocolate chip cake mix with Chips Ahoy cookie pieces. So I thought he would like that as just a sweet little treat one night. And then color forms, you guys. I just keep saying like, when you were little, how old are you? Are you my age? Like, was this a big for you? Because I'm an 80s baby and so many things that are coming back right now, I rocked in my childhood. In my childhood. And color forms were one of them. So these were regular original color forms, you guys. And this is in the frozen two. So I got this one from Maya. It says over 40 color forms. And then it's that one. Oh, it's three scenes. Three scenes, 40 color forms. Like four dollar, you guys. And then Toy Story 4 for Mason. So like brand new movies. This one's still out. This one just left the movie theater great Disney movies in color forms like at the Dollar Tree. So I could not turn those down. Sorry, I just noticed the fan reflection, but I could not turn those down for a buck. So I'm gonna put those away for Christmas. But that was it for my quick little $10 trip to the Dollar Tree. That Chips Ahoy one like this, Jake really, really liked. So I picked this one up for his stocking because this one is s'mores cake with honey made graham cracker pieces. So s'mores is like a Christmassy kind of thing to me, fall Christmassy. And so I think I'm just going to throw this one in his stocking. But these are the little Duncan Hines perfect size, like one cup snack. So those are perfect for Jake. So I'll make sure to throw that in his stocking. And then I found another little container, but I think I'm just gonna use this for decor because it has just a little red truck on it and the snowman, which are my two favorite Christmassy things. And so I'll probably just put this out on a shelf somewhere. And then, okay. You guys know that I was buying these for a while and there was like, I had bought three and four which meant that there was a one and two. Number one, two, three, and four is like the numbers on the candle as far as the name of this candle. And I found six today. Like what? I've never even seen five or six. Now I find six and I still think there's one I haven't found. I think I have one, three, and four. I think I've still never found two or something like that. There's one out of the four I haven't gotten. One of my girlfriends that watches me here said they were going to snag it for me, um, but I no P.O. box. Things have been crazy, so I never got that one, but I'm pretty sure there was one out of four I hadn't gotten, but now I found six. So I just blew up my world. So these are the old Williamsburg, and they're in the blue jar with the little cork top. I love them, and this is number six, med Meditate. So there's a five out there somewhere and the first ones that I had, the three out of the first four were outrageous. They just smelled so good. This smells very citrusy, uh, lemony kind of, love it. Uh, always get my Glade storage bags from there. If I don't go to a place like BJ's, Costco, Sam's, something like that, I get them from the DT and lately they've been doing the 30% more. So you get 13 gallon size, glad bags for a dollar i think that that's a great price i don't know why it's not focusing for you guys but i'm pretty sure you know like what gallon there you go so there's that and then i got the quart size which i got 12 quarts for the buck so that was it for like sandwichy bags and then Look, you guys, they had those Mr. Brownies. We've had the regular ones and then the Blondies, but these ones have little chocolate rainbow things and they're like the Cosmic Brownies that Jake loves. And the other Mr. Brownies we got, we liked. So uh, I figured we would give these a try. They're non-GMO, so you know me and my non-GMO snacks. And so I think that, that my kids um, will enjoy them. And I know that Jake will, because he loves his um, Cosmic kind of anything with candy. The kid is candy. He grew up never liking candy. Never. Nothing. Only chocolate. Not even a lollipop from the doctor. I loved when doctors switched to stickers. Um, but now all of a sudden the kid has like switched. Taste buds have changed and now he's the most sugar he can get the better. Uh, okay so hit the bread jackpot in this store you guys. Wait hold on. 
pulled the phone. They had cobblestone. What? Onion rolls? Yes. I haven't seen these since, like, I haven't even seen these in my Dollar Trees that were huge in South Carolina in a long time. So you'll be sure that next week RB sandwiches are on the menu because we haven't had those babies in a long time because without my onion rolls, I ain't making the sandwich. And I'm not spending $4 at Walmart when I can spend a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I got my cobblestone onion rolls and then two loaves of bread. So I got my and nature's own, the white wheat, which is basically just white bread with wheat flour. So uh, any other way to get some extra healthy in them. And then I like to just get them the plain whole wheat. They like when I switch it up, but this is the nature's own 100% whole wheat. So two loaves of bread going in the freezer. My deep freezer is here so I can start freezing this chef. So that's it for this chef, you guys. Let's get into what I got for Mason's party. So here's what I got for Mason's party. And some stuff I don't need to show you like everything, so I got a lot of duplicates depending on how many, you know, kids come. So let me just show you what like my idea was. So I said I wanted the kids to like take home something. So I felt like I wanted the kids to like each make an ornament like this. I figured I would take the top off and they could fill the bowl with something on the inside. So I got eight of these figuring that's 16, and if I need more by the time everyone RSVPs by Friday, I'll run and go get more. So I got eight of those, and then I had to buy the things to fill it. So I got all sorts of different stuff. So I got two different sizes of these kind of like faux snow things. There's bigger ones and smaller ones. So I'll show you one of each kind. So like here is the bigger kind of snow pieces. And then here is the tinier like snow pieces. So got four bags of that for them to put snow in there. And then I figured we can they can each put like a little sprinkle of the sparkly kind of snow that would give their snow like a little special touch. So I got one of that. And then here's a pack of green streamers. I got red streamers floating around here somewhere. And then two different kinds of like cupcake holders. I'm going to do chocolate covered strawberries with um, red, white, and green sprinkles. So I got these little tiny baking cups so I can put the chocolate covered strawberries on there. That's why nobody's like sticking their hands in a big pile of chocolate covered strawberries. They can grab each individual one. And then I just got these kind of cu cups for cupcakes or whatever I choose to make with those. And then here are some pom-poms. I know I picked up more of these, but this is for the kids to fill their ornaments with, as well as these little bells. I figured everybody would want to throw like a little bell or two in there. So there's 50 pieces of bells. And then besides going for stuff for Mason's party, this is kind of what drew me in. If you guys saw the Vlogmas video, I think it was four when I ran some errands, I showed you guys the felt Christmas tree that my mom sent the kids and I said I wanted to grab some of the battery operated lights to string on there. So I got one stars and one snowflakes and I'm just going to string them around that felt tree just to give them a little bit more festivity on that thing that my mom sent. And then these things, I know it sounds silly, but I got these things for the pinata, figuring it would add a little bit bulk in the pinata, so when it comes down, it's not just candy. So I got pencil sharpeners, and they look like that, little Santas on them. And then I got stampers. Yeah, there's eight stampers, so I know I have another one in here. So they're like red and green, and they show like snowmen and different stuff like that. So I got those, and then a pack of pencils, and then here are the snowmen pencil sharpeners. Again, I'm pretty much planning for like 15 plus, so I tried to make sure to get enough to cover all of that. And then I also got this 18 pack of little pencil topper erasers. I thought that would be good bulk for the pinata. And then I think that's it. The rest of what's in here are more ornaments. And then let's see, here's more pom-poms, but these ones are just red and green. So I picked those up to fill. And then I also got these. I figured if they didn't want to do those little 
like plastic ornaments. They can decorate some foam sheets. So I got the Christmas trees and the gingerbread men. Just something else to like leave at the craft table for them to do. And then I picked up two of these little mini bows for them to put like at the top of their string where the little string is for the ornament or to put maybe as a bow tie for the gingerbread man or on their Christmas tree. How to get Mesa and his and number six happy birthday candle. Can't believe my boy is gonna be six. That's crazy. Uh, got this little photo prop kit. I thought that'd be cute for the kids to take pictures at the party. It's really super cute with all the things that it comes with. Santa's hat and beard, reindeer, um, ears, elf hat, presents, a snowman hat. So lots of fun stuff to take pictures, but that would be cute. Here's more of the snowman pencil sharpeners. And then here are some stickers for the kids to like put on that felt tree or maybe the outside of their ornament. Here's more pencils for them and more pom-poms. And then I also got sand. I thought maybe that would be bulky too. So I got red and green sand. This way it's just variety for like what they want to fill their thing with. And then I got this to maybe put balloons. Use this as like a weight for balloons in the middle of the table, just a little Christmas tree. So I got that. Here's his red um, streamers. I'm gonna wrap that all around the outside like banisters since we're gonna set the tables up on the back patio. And then here's more stampers for inside. And then glue. Got lots of glitter glue and stuff for the kids to be able to glue their stuff on or draw on their ornaments. Got big giant ones with red, gold, and silver. I thought that would be good. And then speaking of gold, I got two of these little gold balloons. Target had these for a while, um, or they still have them, but to see them at the Dollar Tree was awesome. Okay guys, so that's it for this time's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss my next Dollar Tree upload. I will be uploading one more Dollar Tree haul before Christmas time, my last minute stocking stuffers and things that I always need from the DT right before Christmas is getting ready to hit and there will be a surprise in that video. So stay tuned for that. So many excited things coming up for Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I love you all so much and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.